rude boy, boy, can you get it up? Come here, rude boy, boy, you should big enough. Take it, take yeah. it, baby, baby. Yeah. Take it, take yeah. it, baby. Welcome back to another vlog, guys. You know I love y'all because it is approximately 11.06 p.m. on a Monday, and I am actually getting ready to take my makeup off, wind down, take a shower, and get ready for bed. But I thought that I would start a vlog because I'm thinking that this vlog might be, you know, maybe the day in the life of a full-time content creator, but or a day in the life of working from home or something like that. I'm going to try to put a lot of information in the blog, um, you know, just about content and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what, let me go ahead on and get this blog started before I wind down. So anyway, um, so all of you content creator girlies that are on the rise like myself, this one is for you. But anyway, girls, so the first thing I'm going to show y'all real quick is what I use to... Um, import my data into my iPad. You guys know that I use CapCut. CapCut is a editing software, so I use that. Um, and I pay $75 a year for the subscription, for the pro subscription. Um, but what I use to import the data is this, uh, I don't know the name of this contraption, but I just know that it is a lifesaver. This is made by Lexington. And then, um, I know that the port is, I think, for a C drive. Uh, so this is my memory card. Oh, uh -uh, girl, not me dropping a memory card. This is my memory card. I use a 128 memory card. And then I just basically take it and I put it in here. And then I just do it like that. And then I basically touch. Uh, so once that happens, you'll see like a little blue icon at the very top. And you tap there and it'll take you into your files and from your files you'll be able to export your uh content from the uh from this little contraption right here into your ipad and then from there i will then export those clips into CapCut, which is my editing software and that's how i get all of my um that's how I get all of my content and stuff uploaded. I enjoy editing off of an iPad because it's so easy for me. It's portable. And unfortunately, guys, I just never learned how to edit on a computer. So, yeah. But anyway, girls, I at least wanted to get the vlog started and um, show y'all that. But let me say this. Now, I said that this would be a vlog a lot of uh, about content creating but y'all know how these things go we'll start it off and it's supposed to be one thing and it'll turn into something else the last thing i need is a camera to fall but okay girls hey y'all <laughs> All right, girls, I'm trying to get my hair together because we got to go down to the library library really quickly. Um, I received another contract from a different company, but the only way that we can access the contract is on a Windows-based computer. So anyway, girls, um, one of you gorgeous bombshells had a question about some documents, you know, um, you know, documents and things like that on the job interview. She asked me when, when was the last time I've interviewed? Because what she was explaining is that I guess like some of the things that I've explained that I've been asked for on a job interview, she's saying she's never been asked for, but guys, I just want you guys to be prepared. Um, uh, so to answer the question I've interviewed, uh, it was probably, about two years ago, but I haven't interviewed since then because, uh, you know, we are on YouTube. But um, any job interview that I've had here in Houston, 
I've had to provide a driver's license. And that's because like I've interviewed for some really, really big companies. And so companies are very like highly secured here. And a lot of times I've interviewed like in the energy corridor where you have so many oil and gas companies or even in the Galleria area. And then within the building in which you are interviewing in, y'all, it's sometimes hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of companies. And so because of the... Um, security is really really strict but guys you just want to be prepared you just want to be on the safe side so guys just make sure you still take your driver's license and then also when it comes to your resume you absolutely want to take four to five resumes with you in fact what i did i googled it so anytime you guys might um you know maybe question some of the advice that i'm giving or you may feel that the advice i'm giving is a little bit uh, you know, maybe it's just not as up to date. That's fine. So you got you guys can like just because you need to I'm gonna be honest, you need to check this stuff out for yourself. Just like when you go to church, you got to go home and read the, the, the Bible for yourself because baby, yo, uh, because the preacher can, you know, he can preach you right on the hell. And so even though I know that I'm giving you guys actual and factual information, I still want you guys to do the legwork on your own um, and fact check on your own, you know, um, despite the fact that I have not interviewed in two years, guys, the market trends typically don't change in terms of preparation on a job interview. I'm giving you guys evergreen information. So I'm telling you how to show up. I'm telling you what to bring to be prepared. Um, and so, you know, if there's ever a question about uh, some information I'm giving you, just Google it just to be on the safe side. But guys, I just want y'all to be prepared. I also, let me say this. When I got hired on at the um, at the robotics engineering firm, girl, uh, like once I got the job and everything, I was asked to provide my birth certificate. Now, these companies, they have some very strict, uh, you know, hiring practices. But I'll be very, very honest with you girlies. I have never ever been on a job interview where I was not asked to provide a driver's license and I was not asked for several copies of my resume. In addition to that, guys, even if you have a virtual interview, please have a copy of your resume, a paper copy of your resume. Please have a paper copy because the last thing you want, because even with me, I know my resume, but sometimes I do look down and I reference it. The last thing you want to be doing if you're being asked an interview question is looking on your phone or on your iPad at your resume. You want to have a paper copy of your resume, even in a virtual interview. So I hope that um, if any of you girlies uh, had some concerns about the um you know, the information that I'm giving you in regards to resumes and interview tips. I hope that that addresses your concerns. Um, and then also, guys, despite the fact that I am not in the market seeking employment, I am very passionate about providing you guys with information that's going to help you successful and uh, help you be successful and get to where you want to be. And I study market trends. I'm literally still researching this stuff and so this these things that i'm telling you guys they are updated i thought that was a great question and i was like well shoes because i'm gonna be honest i was like well she's probably if she's typing that out it's probably some more of you guys thinking that this is just going to be our first segment of ask coach rock i thought that was an excellent question and gave us you know the opportunity for a dialogue where's the title in the binder with all my other titles but the dmb told me that this is what i needed to bring no 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 i don't care what anybody told you i want the title all right guys this is the cute little outfit guys we're gonna actually have to wear this again one day and one day soon because y'all it is raining outside but i just felt like looking cute we're just gonna make a quick little run but yeah, so this outfit is from ASOS and it was dirt cheap, girl. I think the pants was $6. The top might have been about $5. And so um, this is our cute little look for today. And y'all, this is how... Hold on, girl. Y'all, that's my best friend calling me back. <laughs> but this is how my hair came out, y'all. It came out so pretty. But anyway, girls, we're going to go get some delicious barbecue and then... 
I need to make a stop at Big Lots and then when I come back, we're just gonna hang out and I'm gonna show you guys a couple little tricks and little stuff like that um, to do thumbnails and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm gonna call y'all when I get in the car. All right, girls, we are in Big Lots. And I just wanted to show y'all something real quick. So someone on the live was asking me to show how I prop up the camera inside of the baskets. So guys, I will have the base of the tripod in the bottom of the basket. So guys, this is the bottom of the basket right here. And then my tripod is like extra, extra long. And I'll show you guys when I get home. So I literally just sit it up in the basket. So yeah, I, I repositioned the camera guys. So you see the, so these, this foot, this foot, and then there's a foot back here. So guys, this is literally the base of the tripod and this tripod is like really, really tall. And then again, I'll just put something uh, really heavy on the base of it. So we're just gonna use this Coke for right now. And then I'll just um, kind of lay things strategically around it like see the coke was able to stabilize the entire tripod so now if I roll around the store you guys see how stable that is so now I can just literally roll around the store and not have to worry about the uh, tripod falling over to the side or anything like that so I just wanted to show you guys that really really quickly but anyway girls let me get my stuff and I'll see you guys when I get in the car Y'all, oh my gosh, I love you guys so much. And I hope you understand me. So, in the vlog I posted today, um, at the end of the vlog, I asked you guys to subscribe if you are enjoying the content and to also re-watch the video. Um, because one thing that I'm trying to do is to really become... Um, you know, I'm really, I'm in the algorithm, but I'm really trying to move forward. And uh, I have a, a view goal that I want to meet. So I asked you guys to watch the video from beginning to end. And then I've asked you to play it again. Basically, it would be, uh, you know, the goal is to get uh, eight to 10,000 views on the first day that the video is posted. Anyway y'all are showing out for me oh my god i love you guys so much Every word i say is true i love you guys so much not only are you guys showing up and re-watching the video because youtube is telling me you guys are also subscribing and i just want to say thank you so much guys we literally just hit 15,300 subscribers 15,300 fabulous bombshells just want to say thank you so much like oh my gosh thank you so much i love you i love you <laughs> guys never be afraid to shout people out no matter even if you feel like uh, i only have 300 subscribers it's not gonna matter it does matter it means a lot to us even if you know even if you the, the person you shouted out doesn't have an opportunity to come over and watch. It still, you know, means a lot. You know what I'm saying? You're creating good karma. So there is, oh, uh -uh. oh, okay. So there is a misconception. Not everyone does this, but some people have this, this preconceived notion that if they shout other people out, other creators out, is going to impede on their, on people watching them. And that is not true. Never think that by you shouting someone out is gonna take away from your platform. In fact, it adds to it because what it does, guys, when you shout people out, so say you shout somebody out, what happens is after that person watches your video, they'll go on and they'll watch the next, the person that you shouted out. Well, YouTube is still giving you credit because they are looking at you like, okay, she kept these people on the platform. 
So if someone comes to, so say I open up YouTube and I decide I want to come watch uh, Christy Danielle. So I'll go to Christy Danielle's video. That's And so her video is what got me on the platform. So then I'll sit there and I'll watch two or three of her videos. Well, then if I watch her videos, I'll go, say she shouts someone out. I'll go watch who she shouted out. And then I'll watch their content. And then maybe... You know, I'll go down a rabbit hole and then I'll watch some fashion videos. And then from there, I'll watch some career videos. And what's happening is, so because I watched Christy Danielle first, her video was the one that got me on the platform, but her video was also the one to make me stay on the platform. And so YouTube recognizes that. So guys, don't ever be afraid to use your platform to help someone else because you are inevitably uh, helping yourself as well. And then also, you know, it's just in good, you know, I think it's just in good practice. You know, I've had a lot of shout outs. I've had, I've had a lot of help, you know, and you don't know what you're doing for the next person. You know what I'm saying? And, and then too, just think about how hard it was when you first started YouTube. Think about how good it felt when you got your first, um, hundred subscribers you know what I'm saying and then think about how you felt like oh my god I'm on my way when you got your first thousand and so on and so forth and so that's just one thing that I wanted to uh speak to in terms of just you know let's be each other's algorithm you know what I'm saying like I want to I want I want us to be each other's algorithm that is so 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 important and then another thing that I want to do, I used to do this a lot and I kind of don't know why I got away from this, but since this is going to be more or less a video centered around content creation, guys, I want y'all to get in the comment section. And if you are a YouTuber, go ahead and put, I am a YouTuber in the comment section. And then from there, I want other YouTubers to get down. I want you guys to connect, con get connected with each other, guys, go follow and support each other's platform because that's how we grow in the YouTube algorithm um, you know we have to be each other's algorithm until YouTube starts to recognize us independently but anyway I just wanted to say that but um I'm gonna show y'all some of the stuff that some of y'all didn't influence me to buy from all these girls when we get home all right girls I am back obviously y'all let me tell y'all this real quick I was in Aldi it was a lady in there, y'all. Her body was so gorgeous. Like, you could tell she worked out. Her legs was so, oh my gosh, her body was just so perfect and amazing. Y'all, when I had seen her, I was trying to sneak and buy my cookies. I didn't want her to see. Girl, y'all, I didn't want her to see me buying these cookies, girl. I, I don't know. Anyway, one of you bombshells, which one of you bombshells is responsible for making these buy me making me buy these cookies? I'm gonna need you to come to the front of the congregation. Yeah, one of the bombshells made me buy these mint striped fudge cookies. So one of the bombshells had told me to get these because they said that they was gonna taste like the Girl Scout cookies. And then I got the caramel coconut fudge cookies. Y'all, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna be very, can I be honest? Can I be honest? So guys, I haven't been eating celery as much and my appetite, <laughs> y'all, my appetite been went crazy, girl. Cause I cut back on the celery. Now I'm kind of able to eat and stuff. So anyway, um, I bought some cucumbers. Y'all look at these cucumbers, girl. I don't know where they get these from. Y'all look, they short and fat. But anyway, hopefully these will be good. And then I went to Big Lots. You guys saw me in Big Lots. I just brought me a Coke because sometimes I'll drink a little bit of Coke to give me some energy. And then I bought the Glade Clean Linen, linen Spray. Guys, this make your house smell so freaking good. And of course, I bought the girly products, the panty liners. Y'all, I don't like these, but this is all they had. And then you guys know I love these. These are the Summer's Eve Sheer Floral Wipes. I love these. Um, And then, girl, just like some paper towels. And then I stopped at Papa's bar Barbecue and I got me like a little kid's meal. And it's so delicious. So I got that. 
Um, I think I need to show y'all how this robe, I made this robe into a dress. It's so sexy. I'm trying to create a balance of content because y'all, I don't be wanting my corporate girlies to be left out because guys, not everyone wants to be a YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, I just, I just don't be wanting my corporate girlies to be, to feel left out. And so yeah i don't know if y'all gonna believe this or not but you guys are always on my mind i'm always thinking about how i can you know add value bring you guys really engaging entertaining and educational content and so i guess i kind of i'll be very honest with you i be feeling like i don't know i mean i know that content creation is equally as important um because i was i was a I'm sorry guys, I'm sucking on a cough drop, I apologize. But before I even broke into the content creator space, I only, all I, all I wanted was, you know, success in my career. I didn't know that God had another plan for me. I didn't know that this, this was going to be my, my path. And so I just think about the girls that are out there, they get up and they go to work every day. They don't have the desire to do what I do. And so, um, sometimes I just feel like providing, you know, that corporate content is is extremely important and it does kind of, you know, it kind of takes uh, precedence, <laughs> if you will, over the content creating, um, content creating content, if that makes any sense. And so, yeah. And then I also, I think another reason why I feel a little bit torn is because for the girls that do want to get into content creating that do work in corporate america that's where your path is going to start and the reason why i say that is because look at me i took all of the knowledge that i used to be successful and to get these jobs um i use that to fuel me but more importantly i use the constant layoffs to fuel me and propel me even more and so what i'm trying to say is even if you are a corporate girly and you eventually want to transition, your corporate expertise or whatever it is that you do could very well be your bread and your butter. Um, if you are good at, you know, creating systems that are efficient, your YouTube channel could be centered around that. But you might still want to stay in the corporate space for right now. You know what I mean? And so... You might want to stay in that space and you might want to elevate and you might want to get promoted and go on to the higher things. And then eventually you can become a consultant and then do that full time while also creating content. And so I guess that's why I, why I struggle, because I know it's more more girlies out here that are in the corporate space as opposed to uh, in the content creator space. I don't want nobody to be left out. Okay, girls, I actually wanted to show you guys how tall my uh, tripod is. And it actually goes all the way up like this, guys. So I am five foot three. So this thing is probably about maybe five feet tall. And uh, it goes all the way up. You guys can also sit it like all the way down. This is one of the best investments that I have made. And then girls, girls, can we get into this robe? I turned into a dress, honey. So girls, y'all just need a stretchy robe like this. I just wrap this thing around like that. These are the ties. And girl, these are the um these are the sleeves right here, girl. So I literally took the sleeves and instead of putting them on, because y'all, it is hot as I don't know what in Houston still, and it's going to be November, girl. So I basically took the sleeves and I tied them up like this. And then I just took this part right here and I just pulled it up. And then I tied it in another knot. And y'all, it's so cute and comfy and stretchy. And it even have like... Y'all look, it even has some pockets. Y'all know I be loving to look pretty around the house, girl. So look, you can still look pretty in your robe, girl. I wish you guys had a Crazy Boss in your neighborhood, but yeah, I got it from Crazy Boss and I paid, I wanna say like $7.99 for it. We are 
about to get into doing some thumbnails. Guys, I use Canva for my thumbnails. And um, I just like to do it in bulk. But if I'm not able to do it in bulk, uh, I, I do have, I told you guys this, but I have a whole bunch of thumbnails already created. And so uh, what I would typically do is just pick through each thumbnail and see which one I want to do, which vlog I want to create. I can do that. Um, but lately, these vlogs have kind of been impromptu, if you will. Like this one is impromptu. And so uh, when I was thinking about how I was going to do this last night, I was like, well, shit, let me try to, you know, figure something out or whatever. And so I started thinking like, well, maybe I can put an iPad on the thumbnail. Of course, a picture of myself on the thumbnail. And then, you know, maybe you know, just some other things. Um, and so we're going to try to curate curate one together. And I'm just going to show you guys some basic stuff because really with the thumbnails, you really have to use like, you know, your creativity or whatever. Um, but I'll give you guys some basics. So let's go here. All right. So as you guys can see, this is the thumbnail that uh, is currently available now. So first thing I'm going to do is go home and then I'm going to go and we're going to click on create design and then we're going to select thumbnail. And so what happens is uh, Canva will immediately put the appropriate sizing. This is a 16 by nine. I do have a Canva Pro, so I pay about $14 a month. So guys, I have an option of like so many different thumbnails here. So we can go with something like this and like this, and then you can move the pictures around. So um, this one is already pre-created for you. My skincare routine, vegan cruelty free. So you can do something like this. And this one is fairly easy because all you have to do is load in uh, pictures of what you want. If you do not pre-create your thumbnails, guys, after you edit your vlog, what you can do, excuse me, is go back through your blog and see what you did. Based off of what you did is how you're going to determine your pictures. As far as font is concerned, I found this thumbnail. So you can always choose whatever font is going to work for you. This is a gorgeous, oh, this is such a gorgeous thumbnail. So let's play around with this thumbnail. So the first thing we're going to have to do, I'm going to delete these images or actually what I'll do just to be on the safe side, girl, instead of deleting them because I don't want to mess anything up. We are going to just remove all of those images. So now that we have just our basic um, template, if you will, our basic thumbnail, um, in Canva, what you do, you just click upload. So if there is a little upload button, you click it and then it loads in all of your pictures. So what I'm going to do is select a couple of pictures. And then we're just going to start playing around with some different, some different ideas. When it comes to editing, creating thumbnails, 
all things YouTube. The more you do it, the better you get. Um, and so when it comes to thumbnails, guys, just practice. You know, like I do, I still practice my thumbnails when I have downtime. I mean, I still practice. And, um, you know, a lot of times YouTube, they'll rate your, you know, like they'll push your videos in accordance to how well the title and the thumbnail is doing. And so um, I just continue to practice because what I also understand about YouTube is that unfortunately, guys, there is no, you know, there is no magic thing. You can create a video about home decor and that video can blow up and then you can create another one. It doesn't do as well. And so, um, you know, I try to put 100% or 110% into every video, which I encourage you guys to do that as well. Try to put 110% into every video, but don't be disappointed if one video is performing better than the other. That's just how it is on YouTube. All right, y'all, let's try this library thing again. I apologize that I have this uh, mint, a cough drop in my mouth or whatever, but these are very soothing to my throat. So anyway, we... Um, so the library basically closes. They're on a weird schedule. So the location close to me on what Wednesdays, they close like at five, but on Thursdays, they still stay open till eight. So anyway, we're about to head over there so I can at least attempt to open this uh, these files so we can get these contracts signed. And then I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. Um, I don't think I don't think I am in the mood to like stopping and getting anything. I'm probably gonna leave some, eat some leftovers. So I think after we leave the library, we're probably gonna come back to the house. So anyway, let me get my keys and stuff and then I'll see you guys uh, when I get in the car. Oh, they waiting on me. Well, thank you. Somebody in this bitch is courteous. Thank you. Last night was a very, very hard time. I had a hard time sleeping. Um, I have this thing, I don't know why, but every morning I wake up at six, I'm sorry, at four, and then I'll end up like getting really sleepy around six and I'll go back to sleep and then I'll wake up at nine and I hate that I wish that I could just sleep, you know, all the way through or whatever. Um, I, I know when I started feeling better, when I started recovering from having my cold, I was just going to bed. Naturally, I would get really sleepy and then I would go to bed like at nine, or maybe 11, I'm sorry. And then my body would just naturally wake me up like around 7.30 or eight. So I, uh-uh, look at them. So I kind of missed that, it, to be really honest. I missed that, so. Girl, the churns is getting out of school, girl. So I got to act like I got. <laughs> I gotta act a little civilized because the churns is getting out of school. So they must have had um they must have had uh like a little Halloween or costume party or something because um some of them look like they dressed up. But y'all, one thing about me, I love the kids. Y'all know that. I love kids. I just switched subjects, girl. Don't worry about it. That's what I do. But I love the kids. I be telling y'all. I've been telling y'all I want me a cute little fat baby. But I must I think I figured out where this baby fever is coming from. Girl, y'all. I've been using so there has been this smell. <laughs> there has been this smell in my house, and it smelled like a baby. It's like a baby smell. And it was I, I kept smelling it. Uh, when I was cleaning up this weekend and I was like what is that smell and it was driving me crazy because it smelled like a baby and I just couldn't figure out what it was because I know I shouldn't do this but sometimes like I use you know different types of cleaning products and I know you guys y'all don't like when I do that but I'm trying to get better so anyway I must have mixed something I don't know but I couldn't get this y'all the smell was everywhere it was on my hands. It was in the kitchen. It was like everywhere. And it just was smelling like, y'all, it smelled like a sweet, little, fat, cute baby. And it was driving me crazy. 
um, yeah, this whole conversation turned into something completely different. But anyway, girl. So hopefully we'll be able to open this file and get this stuff done. It's super gloomy outside today. It's uh, it's almost four o'clock, and I'm just ready to get this stuff done and get it over with. Oh, and one last thing I forgot to tell y'all, girl, they doing construction. So they're doing a lot of construction over in my apartment complex. And so that has a lot to do with why I'm not getting a good night's sleep also because they start super freaking early in the morning. And they go until five and they use, it's, it's super noisy. So if y'all notice that I got these uh, bags under my eyes, girl, that's why. But anyway, I think I've done enough rambling. I'm gonna call y'all back when I get to the library. Go after your dreams. Okay. Go after it. I never compromised that. You know, I never allowed anybody to tell me what I was capable of accomplishing. I never let anybody tell me that I can't do. Right? I went after it. If you want to accomplish something or do something that a lot of people think is difficult to, difficult to accomplish, you have to put all your eggs in one basket. There's no compromise. I hope that you're the one. If not, you are the prototype. We'll tiptoe to the sun and do things I know you like. I think I'm in love again. I think I'm in love, babe. So y'all, y'all already know I'm on these grizzly streets of H-Town, girl. But anyway, um, it is Saturday. I've not picked up the camera in a couple of days because I've not been really doing anything. I needed to take like a day off um, or a couple of days off because I've been going, you know, really hard with the content and stuff like that. But anyway, um, when I went to the library the other day, I was not able to open up that, un that file. And it's just for me a lesson learned. I am still learning, you know, my way around this stuff. But if you guys get a, a file that you have to unzip and all of this, I email the company back and I just explain to them like, I wanna work with you, you know, um, but I can't, if you are not, if you're unable to send a file to me that, it, that I don't have to unzip, then I can't move forward because y'all that damn thing said, that it had the threat of a virus on it and that was on the library computer and so i was not able to open that so just just a word to the wise girlies all my youtube girlies y'all even the most legitimate companies even the companies that paid me the most money have been able to send a file over that did not have to be unzipped now Perhaps the way that they wanted me to submit the actual project was different. Most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time when I submit a project to a company, it's basically submitted through a YouTube link. They look at the link. If you need to make changes, you make changes and that's it. Um, but with this, this particular company, you can't even get to that because you can't even open their contract. So you just gotta be careful um, with that type of stuff or whatever. So yeah, we are on our way to Lowe's because all of the darn light bulbs and blew out in the kitchen on, you know, like the little under cabinet lighting. We need to go fix that and get that uh, replaced. Oh shit, not me going the wrong way, girl. Um, so yeah, y'all just be careful when it comes to um, some of these companies. I mean, and then some of them, they'll you know be like oh we want to work with you fill out this application and then you click on the application and uh it'll be you'll have to put in just certain things and and you'll be like something ain't right about this don't do that because i've heard girls they've um they've done that they'll click on whatever link in some kind of way the company will be able to hack their YouTube or their Instagram and stuff like that. So guys, just be careful out here with some of these scamming companies because some of these companies do scam. 
but anyway girl let's go in here and get uh and see if they have these little light bulb things and then after this i think we're gonna go to subway and get something to eat right y'all so i am inside of lowe's y'all so i wanted to get some more lighting for the living room y'all look at how pretty i like this one right here but the problem is i'm worried about if one of the light bulbs blow out but um we're gonna be looking at getting some lighting for the living room just because i think it would kind of add you know what i mean so y'all let me know what y'all think i like this one this one right here the longer one and then um i like these but i think because of the theme in the living room these are not gonna look as good and then we have this one right here all the way up there for 142. that one is really really cute too so y'all let me know what y'all think and which one i should get all right y'all this is a better picture I like this one. I think that is so cute. And girls, it's only $142. So I think that one would be really, really cute. And I'm looking for, and oh, here's the other one. Here is the other one. This is a better, a better picture at the, a better look at the other one. So I'm going to be honest. I think it's going to be this one. I think this is going to be the winner. Why the dude that was helping me at Lowe's told me, I was a nerd, tell me you 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 kind of a nerd. I said I am. He told me, but now nah, I like you, but that you kind of mix. He told me you a nerd, but you still up on game. I'm like, yeah, that's how you supposed to be. He told me them them be the best ones. Yeah, yeah, they do, they do. But anyway, girls. So this is what we ended up having to do as far as the lighting is concerned. One light bulb was five dollars. So I found out the actual name of the light bulb. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go on Amazon. And we're gonna order the um we're gonna order the light bulb that we need. So we'll do it like that, girl. Where is the car? I really want to touch on a question that I hear a whole lot lately. Am I too old for social media? Spoiler alert, you're not, and I'm gonna tell you why. Let's start with this. Social media is not just for teenagers or millennials. Whether it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and even TikTok, and especially YouTube. There's a place for everybody, including you. In fact, some of the fastest growing accounts are by people who are, shall we say, a little bit more life experienced. We've got some seasoned professionals, experienced entrepreneurs, and people of all ages out there who are just barely crushing it. <coughs> also, in a recent survey, it turns out that 35% of all YouTube users are 35 years old or older. And guess what? They're not just looking for the kind of content that the younger influencers make. They're searching for content that's relatable for them. Besides, think about it. Who's got the wisdom, the life experiences, and to be honest, often the deeper pockets? That's right. It's not 14-year-old boys or 20-year-olds. No shade to them. It's just a different game. Oh, oh, y'all, my little body can't take that cold air. Okay, girls, we are now on our way to Subway for real this time. So, guys, um, the lady that we were just listening to is Tony Scott. Tony Scott is not also, she is not only, I want to say, an executive chef, she is also Raven Elise's mom. So, if anybody know anything about this thing, it's going to be her because Raven Elise is extremely successful. Um, and I've been watching Raven for years and years and years. 
And then when her mom, Tony Scott, rolled out her coaching program, I used to watch whatever little tidbits I could get from that because at the time when I was watching, she was coaching uh, uh, creators at that time that had 3,000 subscribers or more, which I did not have 3,000 subscribers at that time. And I was just waiting to get to that point and you know so I could uh, seek out coaching but you know I just learned a lot along the way and um, I continued to just learn and and I just learned really on my own in a sense and so anyway uh, she was just saying that it's never too late or you're never too old and she's right I know a lot of uh, a lot of you bombshells that watch me you guys are 30 plus most of you guys are 30 plus and so I like to make content that's relatable to my audience and I do have you know uh, 30 well actually um, to be exact 34 years of age and older and so I like to make relatable content and I'm sometimes you know when I'm looking for motivation on YouTube a lot of the motivation it is for the younger girlies you know for the girlies that's 21 22 you know in their 20s and stuff like that and that's like okay you know I, I love that for them but I also I want to find content that's relatable to the more seasoned creator you know and so that's why I try to make content for the more seasoned uh, you know subscriber or creator because it's not a lot of content always out there motivating us and telling us that you if you want to do this you can do it you know my own experience being a more seasoned content creator what I've noticed is like people come over they subscribe and they stay you know what I'm saying and then also on this platform I've noticed that being a more seasoned creator people are a little bit more forgiving in regards to uh, just certain things you know they're a lot more forgiving I think as a more seasoned uh, subscriber especially I mean it's a more seasoned creator so, like especially like me pushing the career content and giving you guys knowledge you guys don't always expect for me to you know unbox and do a lot of the unboxing type of content because I'm really teaching you and giving you more knowledge in that regard and so I just say all of that to say guys if you want to start your YouTube journey start don't let your age get in the way because you could very well have something to offer that you know people have been waiting for and been searching for I don't know if I said this yet in this video but when I was in corporate America I was searching and searching and searching and searching on YouTube trying to find black women who had had who was having certain experiences in the corporate realm that I was experiencing and I couldn't find anyone and so when I realized that my platform was going to be successful I decided to be the change that I wanted to see you know what I'm saying and so now I try to create content centered around some of the things and challenges uh, that we face in corporate America and how we can overcome those things and so when you create your platform create the content that maybe you've spent many 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 moons looking for that you could never find you know um that's just my advice and don't let your age get in the way you know also if you are a more seasoned doll or a more seasoned bombshell wanting to start your channel it's going to be extremely important that you have something to teach your audience i tell you guys that all the time yes we're here we're making entertainment entertaining content yes we're making funny content yes we're making um engaging content but you want to make educational content as well and so if you're a great gardener be a blogger and a gardener if you know a lot about perfume teach about perfume and, and blog whatever it is but just always try to have something to teach your audience so anyway girls let me try to find a subway so we're not gonna go to the subway where they don't ever have bread after 6 30 we're gonna try to find another one so let's find this subway and then I'll probably pick you guys up when I get back to the house Definitely spinach, definitely cucumbers, light mayo. Y'all have light mayo? That's okay, mayo is fine. Ooh, we gonna be eating fat and sassy tonight, man. <laughs> A 
All right, y'all. So obviously we are home, girls. I am kind of tired a little bit. But anyway, um, my Subway sandwich was not that good. It was too crispity and crunchity. And y'all know I love crispity and crunchity, but not when it comes to a sandwich. But anyway, so guys, um, one thing that I just finished doing is updating my... Um, my what is this like a whiteboard so i have a whiteboard um that i like to write my deals down on for the month and i like to calculate you know how much it is for the month so already walking into the month of october i'm sorry november we've secured one two three four five six seven so far seven deals for the month and so I have a goal that I want to reach right now I have seven deals on the board to be very honest with you guys I would like to secure a total of like if possible anywhere from 15 to 20 deals and so I'll typically right now like my goals for the month like uh, I have that I want 50,000 subscribers and then um, I also started writing that I wanted to do two vlogs per week. I've pretty much met that obligation. So now we're going to change that to to uh, three vlogs per week. So it's just good to write down like your your goals. And it's also good to um, write down the things that you're manifesting. I have my manifestations written down on my bathroom mirror that way because I spend a lot of time in there. You know, I just love being in my bathroom. <laughs> Y'all know that. I'm a girly girl. And then I can really, I have to go in there anyway so I can really see what my goals are. And y'all, it works. Um, in my last apartment, I had written on my bathroom that on June the 1st, I would that I would have a big, beautiful new apartment on June the 1st. Unfortunately, June the 1st, my old apartment burnt down, but it did propel me and to put me in a position to have this apartment or whatever. So it is very important that you write down your goals, girls. Please write your goals down. Okay, that's like super, super important. Another thing that I used to do was keep like, a, 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 like an actual figure of the amount of money I wanted to make on my phone. I think I'm going to go back to doing that. Because I do want to next year for the year 2024... I want to make 200,000 or more next year. And um I it, I believe everything within everything in me. I believe that I can do it. I believe that I can make and I will make $200,000 next year. I do. Um so that's my goal, my financial goal for next year. And if, if I can make more, I'll be very happy about that. Um so yeah, um th this is just one of the things that I'm doing right now. I'm trying to think what else to show you guys you know what i'm saying like i know this vlog was supposed to be dedicated to showing you guys some tips but to be honest with y'all girls like when i got on youtube i just would go on here and google tips that's i learned a lot of stuff like that and so i can sit up here and tell you guys all day long what i did what i do but what works for me may not work for you you know you're gonna have to uh, go out there and just figure some things out that's going to work for your platform because what the girls want to see from me they might not want to see this from someone else you know they they want what they want from me is uh engaging entertainment funny content educational content they may want to see travel from someone else so if your audience every Everybody that watches your content may very well want to see something different from you. My blogs do very, very well in terms of even times where I may only get five or 6,000 views over the course of two or three days. My watch time is freaking crazy. You know, like people really are sitting up watching most of the vlog. Like my watch time is super freaking high. And so I know that they, my girls are enjoying the content, but again, your girls may want to see something different from you. They may want to see you cook and then they may want to see you like braid hair. They just want to see something different. It just depends on your audience. So it is best that, you know, I would recommend that you follow some of the tips I gave. But more importantly, it's best that you also go out there and figure out uh, a formula that's going to work for you because everyone's formula is different. The one thing 
that works for every single person on this YouTube platform is being consistent. Consistency is going to work for anybody and everybody. It is. It does not discriminate. So, um, yeah. So that's about that on that. I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog here um, because I feel like I might have had something else I wanted to tell you guys, but I just cannot think of what it is right away. So if I come back, of course, obviously, that means that the vlog is continue, going to continue on. If I don't come back, that means that the vlog is over. So anyway, girls, let me um, kind of relax a little bit. I'm finna put like some fresh sheets on my bed. This when I start getting all soft and girly. I'ma put some fresh soft sheets on my bed. And then I'ma take me a bath and put some like really good smelling lotion on y'all. <laughs> y'all, I'm such a freaking cotton ball. Like, so. I was such a soft little cotton ball. I love being girly and smelling good and being pretty and stuff. But anyway, so I'm going to do that. I'll probably, honestly, girls, I'll probably come back and talk to you guys once I get settled in and get in the bed and stuff. And then um, we'll close the vlog out there. Listen, y'all, girl, I forgot to talk about Frank and Beans. Y'all know who Frank and Beans is? Dwight Howard, girl. I've been so busy. See, this is why. Hold on. Let me turn this down. See, this is why I be trying to have more of in my videos. I just kind of like my stuff to be structured in a way where, you know, we're just going with the flow of things. But because I didn't decided to run down, come down to the thing and give y'all somewhat of a dedicated video. Girl, I forgot to talk about Frankenbeans, the White House. So here's the deal. And I'm going to probably talk about this again in the next vlog. But my thing is this, nobody cares that you're gay. Nobody cares. Nobody cares that you like the men's girl. Nobody cares that you like to look, uh, you know what I'm saying? You like a little serving a zick on the side. Don't nobody care about that. And I said zick with a Z. Nobody cares that you like a little zick on the side. Nobody cares that you like Frank and Beans. The problem is, bruh, why you got to take the Frank and Beans? Why do you have to aggressively put someone in a position where they allegedly, allegedly, this is all alleged, allegedly put someone in a position where they don't want, you know what I'm saying? They only want your Frank and beans. They don't want to partake in any other Frank and beans activities. And so whilst it's messed up, I don't, I just want to put it out here that sir, nobody cares. Nobody. Like you could have came out a long periodically time ago you know what I'm saying? Like, why did you have to wait for somebody? Well, not wait, but you could have just lived in your truth. Like, bruh, you could have lived in your truth. Your life would have just been so much happier. But I understand, you know, the career that you're in along with, you know, um, you come from a very well-to-do family. You didn't want to, you know, have that impact your family. But what's what you're going through now with this legal suit that has a greater impact on your family than you being allegedly being a man who enjoys being with other men. There are a lot of bisexual men out here, but your family is looking worse now because now you, there you are in court. And then you had to come out and say this stuff because yo Amy is the lead. I want to say she's the lead judge right now on the YSL case. And so you should have just did what was right in there too. Sir, you got money, you got resources, and you got influence. If you wanted a little situation with three, you know what I'm saying, two Frank and Beans, and, and not including yours, a threesome, there are so many guys who would be down for that. And the minute you find out someone is not into that, be like, okay, well, I'm going to go head on and, you know, go head on and have an Uber take you back home. But you wants to wait until the, the allegedly wait until they get in the Uber to ask them if they like Franks and beans. If they want some more Franks and beans in a bit. <laughs> you won't wait till they get in the Uber to ask them if they wanted some more bean and Frank or Frank and beans. And they told you no. But you still told Miss Kitty, Miss Big Black Kitty, like Erica, Erica De Niro TV say, you told Miss Big Black Kitty to come over there 
And that, that boy had told you he ain't like big black kitty. He don't want no kitty. He just wanted you and your Frank and your beans. That's it. So anyway, girls, y'all, I had forgot to talk about this. See, y'all, see, the next time I do, we do a video, it ain't going to be no dedicated video. We just going to do how I likes to do my vlogs. And, and I likes to do my vlogs however I likes to do them. But anyway, I also likes to help the mom shells out too. But anyway, girl, I just had to come back and tell y'all that. But I'm about to watch Fear City, which is, y'all know I love me some mafia documentaries and mafia movies and stuff like that girl so i'm about to watch this and then i'm probably gonna relax and go to sleep and then i'm gonna wake up early in the morning and get started on this editing girl but anyway girls um thank you guys so much for your love and for your support girl i don't even know what this uh what this vlog gonna be giving but whatever it is thank you guys so much for watching thank you for watching until the end guys if you have not had an opportunity to subscribe and you know that you enjoy my content and my boy boy can you get it up please boy boy you should be enough take it take it